Hi everyone, Cobweb Rose here. And after I got done with the AT this year, I didn't think I was gonna be doing any more through hiking. And then uh, it took me a little longer to get a job than I thought I was going to take. And I ended up with this lovely week off and it's peak week for leaves, which normally in years past, I would have been working during peak week for leaves. So I'm taking advantage of the situation and I have decided I'm going to through hike the Foothills Trail because it should only take me a few days. I'm planning about a five day itinerary. Um, of course, since I'll be hiking back to my car, um, I'll be able to get off the trail early or a little bit later, depending on how I'm froggy I'm feeling hiking the trail. So that being said, I'm going to make you all a packing the pack video. Uh, as you can see from the mess around me, I am actually going to be packing my pack for the trip because I leave tomorrow. So let's get right to it. You guys will notice a lot of similarities in this setup to what I had on the Appalachian Trail this year. Um, so we will start with the pack. I'm taking my trusty old Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60 liter with me uh, with basically the same setup on the exterior of the pack as I used on the Appalachian Trail. I'm actually not going to be taking my umbrella with me because the weather looks gorgeous for this week. Um, there's actually no rain predicted, although there are not any shelters along the trail. If I truly need shelter from something, I'll go ahead and throw my tent up. That being said, unfortunately, um, I am a proud owner of two fair weather tents at this point in my life, uh, one of which is a two person and the other one is a single person. So I am going to be going back out on the trail again with my Gossamer gear, the two tent and a new piece of polychro um, that I found when I got back and promptly taped up since it had a big rip in it. Um, this is not the tent that I would like to be taking with me on um, backpacking trips from now on. However, it is the tent that I have. So I'm going to be taking that um, along with my MSR ground hard tent stakes um, that I use to keep the tent in the ground. And as always, I clip my stakes through my dry bag on my tent. Um, that way I never lose my stakes. I'm gonna be taking my faithful Crocs as my camp shoes again. Um, I just really love being able to get out of my sneakers when I'm in camp every night. So I'm gonna be doing that. I have my faithful Nalgene water bottle, both for mixing electrolyte mixes and for coffee because um, I was a coffee addict before I left the Appalachian Trail, pretty much went off of coffee while on the trail, um, and now have been back to drinking coffee for long enough that I should bring it with me for this trip. Um, I also have my glow-in-the-dark thermometer keychain um, that will be staying on my backpack for the duration of the trip. Of course, my lightweight trowel will be on the outside of my backpack, especially because there are no privies along the um, length of the Foothills Trail. Uh, I have a just a gallon-sized plastic bag to serve as my trash bag. Of course, I'm going to be taking my not water bottle. This is just a Nalgene canteen bottle that I use to pee in in my tent at night so I don't have to go out when it's raining or when it's extremely cold or any other thing that I don't feel like going outside for. Of course, bringing my TP and my Sea to Summit soap sheets. And then I have replaced my two smart water bottles. So I use a one liter smart water bottle with a sport cap on it um, to serve as a clean and a dirty water bottle. I'll be putting stickers on the outside to differentiate the two um, so that I know which one is which. And then I will be screwing my smart uh, Sawyer Squeeze filter also with a sport cap on top of it, on top of my dirty water bottle to be able to filter water through there. Although there's no rain predicted, um, I always like to have a little windbreak. This is my anti-gravity gear rain jacket that I'll be taking with me. I did re-waterproof it after getting off the AT, so hopefully it will do a little bit better this time. Um, and then I'm taking my two liter Seanock water bottle. Also, I cleansed this when I got off the AT. Um, the Foothills Trail seems to be a little bit dry right now from everything I've been reading in the comments on the Facebook page and along far out. Um, so I might be doing a few longer water carries and definitely wanna have that with me. Now in my cobwebs craving side pouch that you guys will recognize from the AT, I have all of my snacks for tomorrow as well as my um, a blue O-ring adapter for my Sawyer Squeeze, um, which I can use to connect it to my Seanoff bottle so that I can filter by gravity instead of having to squeeze into my water bottles. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this lidocaine gel with me just cause that's my pain relief. Um, if anything happens with my legs, I have my Gossamer Gear sit pad. That is the back of my backpack. So it helps reduce uh, sweat while I'm carrying my pack. And of course I have a sit pad then when I'm, whenever I'm in camp. I will have my Garmin InReach Mini 2, which I need to charge before this trip. Um, so that my husband will know where I am on trail. I have my sweat slash snot rag, my hand sanitizer, 
my good old old school corded headphones to make sure that I'm not losing any AirPods along the trail. And then of course, all of my pins, my Billion Star Hotel, my Let's Talk About Snacks. And I did happen to find another upside down turtle pin. And for those of you who weren't following my AT journey, um, the significance of that is it reminds me to embrace the suck. Just because you're a turtle flipped onto your back, it means you're looking up at the sky. It's not a bad situation. It just means you're flying instead of crawling along the ground. And that's what I try to remind myself of whenever I'm on trail, especially if I'm facing a particularly difficult uphill. Now that we've done the outside of the pack, um, and I always forget to show you guys this too, I have, of course, a bag of bags um, that's particularly helpful for when you're rehydrating meals or if you need a new trash bag or just anything. I love having bag of bags. Now I always have a double liner on the inside of my backpack. This is just the clear plastic liner that Gothamer Gear sells and I put two of them inside each other just to make for sure that anything that are in these bags is not going to get wet. So what goes on the bottom is my uh, Mountain Hardware Bishop Pass Zero degree sleeping bag. Um, it's supposed to be getting down into the 40s to 50s overnight um, on the Foothills Trail this week. Um, and that doesn't sound very cold because you're like, you're bringing a zero rated bag, but I sleep extremely cold. So this is gold for me, even though it's a little bit heavier to bring. All right, also going down into my liner bags is my pair of Sundic Outdoor boot Down booties. Um, these are fantastic because my toes freeze at night, even in the 50s. So I bring these with me. They don't really weigh anything and they really don't take up a lot of space in your backpack. I'll also be taking this REI 100% Merino wool base layer shirt with me as my sleep shirt slash cam shirt. And then my Smart Wool Merino wool leggings um, that I'll be using as my camp leggings and base layers. I'll be bringing my trusty Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. Now I have chosen to take my trusty old stickers on trail. Stickers is a BB-475 bear canister. Um, and she weighs two and a half pounds by herself, um, but considering that it's fall and the bears are gearing up for their winter hibernation, um, I wanted something that um, I knew that even if a bear got a hold of it, it would just be able to kick it around. Um, and I don't think all of the campsites on the Foothills Trail have bear cables. Um, so I just wanted to bring this so I wouldn't have to hang a bear bag. Um, I do have a lot of food in here right now. This probably weighs oh, maybe 10 pounds by itself um, because I'm planning on doing a five day and I'm not doing any kind of food drop in the middle. It's gonna make my back sad. <laughs> all right. And last but not least is my bag of all things. Well, it's not last, but it's in there. <laughs> um, I do always put a li liner in my bag. It is a custom printed Hilltops bag, my logo on it, Cobweb Rose on the trail. Um, it's actually intended as a bear bag, but um, as you guys know, I'm very averse to hanging bear bags, so I don't use it as a bear bag. I just use it as a place to put all of my miscellaneous items on trail. It is a Dyneema bag, so it doesn't need a liner, but I'm a little paranoid about things, so I always keep a liner in it. Alrighty, so things that are in my bag, um, I'm going to be taking my, this is my electronic bag for this trip just because I don't need very many items in it. I do have a spare charger because I'm going to be working on five days worth of charge. I am going to be bringing my uh, Poseidon Dark Energy Charger again. This is a 10,200 milliamp charger. It's going to be living in my little side pouch uh, on my backpack and this is to charge my phone, my Garmin, my headlamp. Um, and then I'm bringing a spare battery for my GoPro so I don't have to charge that. Uh, my GoPro is actually on the charger upstairs right now, but I'll be bringing my GoPro Hero 11 with the Media Mod Pod on it as well to shoot footage for you guys when I do my um, trail vlogs for this week. I have chargers for all of those things in there. Um, and then like I said, my secondary charger. Um, always bring some pads for my period just in case. Um, I have my sleep aid medication in this tin. I have my micro towel. This is the one that I got from King Tut and Sips on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia and carried it all the way with me to Maine. It helps me manage condensation and then if anything gets wet on the outside of my pack, I can use it for that as well. It's a very quick drying towel. 
Um, I am bringing a lighter just in case. I don't need it for my stove or anything like that, uh, but should I need it for a fire, if I'm desperate, um, I'm gonna bring it with me. I'm gonna be bringing my MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe and my Tokes Titanium 550 Pot Stove Set that I used on the Appalachian Trail with me. Um, it's wrapped up in my Andor 76 buff to make sure that the fuel can that's inside of here does not rust the pot. Gotta bring my glasses, unfortunately. Um, I am bringing my daily contacts with me, but I always have a, a backup set of glasses just in case something happens. And then I have my little extra water filtration kit. Um, I have a dirty water bottle cap and some spare O-rings just in case I need to sleep with my filter. I'm gonna be bringing some Benadryl. Um, this is just precautionary for me because I've heard there are quite a few yellow jackets to contend with on the trail. I'm not a huge fan of yellow jackets and I'm hoping I don't get stung. Um, but if I do, I'm bringing that with me. Um, I'm also bringing my bag of smellable items, toothbrush, toothpaste, bag bomb, Vaseline, and then some baby wipes just because they make me feel a little bit more human. Um, you wanna put your smellables in with your food items if you can right now because I have such a big food load out for five days. Um, I'm storing it elsewhere, but it will be in my bear can at night when I'm on trail. Alrighty. Now, I forgot my outside pocket. I'm bringing my Gold Bond Body Glide with me. This helps reduce friction, it makes me feel a whole lot better when I'm on trail. And then of course my med kit, uh, which has bandages, a key, um, some ginger pills for nausea in case I need those, some alcohol swaps, some Imodium, um, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, uh, Neosporin, which I need to put in my kit. And then I have my small repair kit that includes um, some super glue, that's the poor man's Dermabond and uh, nail clippers, some water purification tablets in case I come across a particularly not so filterable source, um, and then a repair kit for my sleeping pad as well as for my tent. Okay, so things that are coming on the outside, worn weight. I'm going to be wearing my Topo Ultra Venture 2s. These are actually the ones that I hiked with when I went up Mount Katahdin. Um, they were with me from mile marker 2083.7 to 2198.4. Um, I sewed these hooks on the backs of the shoes so that I could loop my Dirty Girl gaiters through them. I'll be wearing my Dirty Girl gaiters again. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend Dirty Girl. Since it's hunting season on trail, I'm gonna be wearing my Hunter Orange buff. I'm gonna be wearing my Ex Officio Give and Go panties. These things are amazing. They're quick dry, antimicrobial, really don't smell at the end of a long stretch. Absolutely love them. My Ex Officio Give and Go bra, sports bra, also an incredible piece of clothing by Ex Officio. I'm gonna be wearing my Fila um, athletic shirt. I don't even know what, what brand, like I don't even know what type of shirt this is. Uh, it's a hand-me-down from my older sister that I've probably had since I was in middle school. But I thought I'd shake it, shake it up a little bit and wear a different shirt on this trip. Um, I'm gonna be wearing my REI Sahara Guide pants again um, that have the zip off shorts, should I need those. I'm gonna be wearing my in Merino Well and Gingy toe sock liners. Um, the toe socks combined with the Darn Tough socks, which I am opting for my Appalachian Trail Conservancy um, Darn Tough socks for this trip, um, really help prevent blisters. This is not worn weight, it just happens to be my pile, but this, which my tramley on the AT affectionately named the Blueberry, um, contains my 1 8 inch Gossamer Gear foam pad that I put underneath of what I affectionately call my banana boat, which is a big Agnes divide sleeping pad, the short version because I am not very tall, um, and then of course the inflation pouch for that. And that is part of my sleep system. Okay, and here is my good old faithful Cotopaxi fanny pack inside that. I always bring my bug net um, because even if the bugs are not running rampant, this thing, even if there are a few bugs, will help save your sanity. So that's coming with me on this trip. Although it being fall, I don't know how much it's going to get used, but really doesn't weigh very much, so may as well bring it with. 
I keep my small square of polypro in here. This acts as a doormat for my tent because I always take my shoes and my backpack inside my tent with me at night. I'm gonna have afterbite, like I said, in case of bee stings mainly. And then I have my bag of miscellaneous items. I've got my cork ball to roll out. Um, this is a Rology cork ball. Um, I did spray it down with some alcohol after I brought it home from the AT and that helped take all of the foot smell out of it. I'm going to be using my trusty Night Core new headlamp. Um, this does have the red light option on it and I've removed the headlamp strap and replaced it with something that's about an ounce lighter. I'll also be bringing my Body Glide Foot Glide. Um, this stuff has saved my feet in conjunction with the Injinjis and the Darn Tough socks. 10 out of 10 recommend that. I'm also going to be bringing my sunglasses with me. I'm hoping for a nice uh, sunshiny trip and no rain. And then since this is going to be a solo trip, I am bringing back the neck knife. Um, this is just an SE knife that I got off of Amazon. I always take my Kula cloth with me when I'm going out. And I'm missing some items from the front here. Um, so I bring my wallet in a little baggie with me. Um, and then I need to figure out where, I always take a Sharpie, a Victorinox knife, and a tube of Blistex chapstick. And I don't know where those went since I got back from the AT, but those will also be in this pouch. All right, only thing that we were missing here is my good old faithful Cotopaxi Puffy. Um, that of course will be coming with me because it is a cold weather hike for me. Um, I don't ever hike in my Puffy, but I do wear it around camp because I get cold very easily. Um, I was debating bringing a mid-layer with me, but it's supposed to get up into the upper 60s, lower 70s the entire week on this trip, and I just won't be wearing a mid-layer. So I'm just gonna settle on the Puffy, and I will bring a pair of hand warmers just in case I need them. But all those fails and it's chilly at night, I've got my Nalgene water bottle that I can boil water in and just hug that to my chest for extra warmth overnight. I nearly forgot. I'm also gonna be bringing my lucky trekking poles because goodness only knows I don't have balance good enough to hike without trekking poles. Now that should be everything that I'm bringing with me on the Foothills Trail hike that I'm getting ready to do. Um, of course, I'll be bringing my phone and I'm actually bringing my tripod this time um, just because I don't have anybody else that I'm hiking with. It's gonna be a completely solo trip. This is gonna be a new adventure for me. No shelters, no prevs. Um, solo trip, it's gonna definitely be different from what I did on my Appalachian Trail hike, but I'm looking forward to a challenge. Um, I will be using the Far Out app again on my phone for navigation purposes. Um, I think the map was $14 and I'm not taking any physical copies of the map with me, but I will stop in at the visitor center. Um, at Oconee State Park when I leave my car there um, just to find out inf more information about the trail. And Taz is going to be shuttling me from Oconee to Table Rock and then I'm hiking westbound back towards my car. So hoping for a really nice week this week and really beautiful foliage, but thank you guys for packing the pack with me. I hope this is helpful. As always, please feel free to leave comments below um, and ask me questions about what is or isn't in my pack for this week. Um, and like and subscribe. Please share the channel if you guys know anybody that's into backpacking. And I can't wait to show you guys my pictures and videos from this upcoming through hike I'm doing. So thank you for watching.